Good morning, John Hughes here and welcome to another episode of Fit Friday where I explain to you my different rituals and daily hacks and habits that I've incorporated over the years that help me to have more vitality, be in better shape, have more energy and I suggest that you look at those other videos, maybe test some of them out and see if they don't help you to improve your life and health and overall vitality also. Today I want to explain a little bit about my process of finding these that work for me and incorporating them, testing to see if it's the right fit for me. So uh, I've spoken before about the fact that I do what's known as intermittent fasting and up until now that means that I would have my last meal at about six o'clock and I would not eat again till the next day at about lunchtime, 12.30 or 1 o'clock. So there was 17 or 18 hours with no food, allowing my body to fully digest everything and to burn through the sugar that might be in my body so that it could start to burn fat. Well, I recently, because uh, I continue to study this stuff, and uh, I learned that there are some studies that show that because of the daylight cycle, we are best suited to eat earlier in the day and uh, have more time before we go to bed to let the food digest and also that our insulin later at night uh, we become more resistant to it so we're less likely to uptake the uh, nutrients either the sugar that would go to muscles and give us our energy or to the proteins to push them into the, the joints and ligaments and muscles and skin and hair to uh, replenish them or to grow them back after working out real hard. So what I am going to be doing now is shifting the time that I eat and so I usually work out between 6 and 7 in the morning and it's a full body workout so I am depleted legs back shoulders arms everything and rather than waiting then the next five hours before I eat I will have my breakfast now same food but I'm gonna have my great big breakfast which is usually a big omelet with a lot of vegetables and an avocado on top at about 8 o'clock in the morning and then my plan is to eat later in the day around uh, ceasing everything by about two o'clock so I'll have several hours before I go to bed and then in total if I stop eating say at about three or four in the afternoon then I'll have another 16 or 17 hours before I eat again the following morning the idea being that I'll also have several more hours being awake and physically moving around that that food can get burned off as well also eating right after a workout you know that's when your body is definitely the most requiring perhaps of uh, nutrients so we'll see now several of the criteria that I will use to see if this is a positive experience for me is how is my energy level changing uh, am I getting thinner are my abs becoming more visible uh, how is my sleep and um, am I hungry in the afternoon and uh, am I stronger do I have more energy in the gym if those things move in a positive way, that I look better, I'm stronger, I feel better, then I would say this is another one to add to my list of hacks. If not, then maybe it requires some tweaking. But anyway, now you have an idea of the different things that I experiment with. I learned these from different doctors, functional medicist, medicine uh, practitioners, and a variety of nutritionists. That's where I gather this information, study the studies that they're referring to, and then put it into practice for self-experimenting with n equals one meaning I am the guinea pig so there you go apply that to some of the other hacks that I have uh, ex explained in the past and I will wish you a great weekend before I do that I'd ask you to please subscribe to this channel click that little notification bell so you get all the episodes when I put them out have a great weekend and I thank you very much for letting me be part of your success bye